everybody. Welcome to uh, the full moon video for the full moon in Rikishira Nakshatra. That takes place on the uh, 14th of December of uh, 2016. Uh, if you are in North America, South America, that side of the globe, uh, you're going to find that this particular full moon takes place on the 13th. Anywhere else you might be, please uh, look on timeanddate.com to get an idea. And this full moon is exact at about five minutes past midnight UK time. So the big question on the horizon for you is, should you be feeling what you feel? Well, the truth of the matter is, you feel what you feel, right? And I think that has to be the first step on your journey. The next step on your journey is about trying to understand the source of those feelings, right? Once you've understood the source of where those feelings are originating from, why you're feeling it, uh, whether you are acting on information that is just being perceived by your senses without closer examination, or whether you're acting on impulse, it's probably a shorter way to say that, or uh, whether you actually have a clear understanding of things. Whichever the case might be, one part of you is feeling dissatisfied with the present state of affairs and you're ready to uh, initiate some changes, but you're not really sure if you're going in the right direction. So with this particular full moon, it's about taking an honest look at a situation. Luckily for you, all the factors are falling into place to support you uh, in doing that. But let's, let's go back to, to the heart, right? And let's take a look at that, right? So you feel something, right? Um, what you feel is always right. And what you feel is there for a reason. Even if that reason is to just get you to take a closer look at what it is that you're feeling, right? But quite often, we all begin to fall into this trap of judging ourselves for what we're feeling and going, oh, that's not right for me to feel. And well, you know, what you're feeling is what you're feeling. And it's there for a reason. And it's there for you to grow from. And it's there for you to learn from. And this particular uh, full moon energy is also trying to uh, move you in the direction towards making decisions that are more in harmony with where you are truly at in this moment in time. Now, that's a very broad statement, where you're at at this particular moment in time, while you're sitting in front of your computer watching this video, or you're on your phone looking at this video. But what do I actually mean by that, right? Well, we go through processes, right? Uh, underlying those processes is an essence of who we actually are. Over time, we kind of like peel away layers that are keeping us from getting in uh, to that uh, true essence and we become clearer. And then sometimes we become a little more confused before we peel away another layer and become even more clear. And there's a certain tone of that with this particular full moon. This full moon is forming angles uh, with uh, Jupiter in Chitra Nakshatra and Saturn in Jaishta Nakshatra. Jupiter in Chitra is kind of pulling you in the direction of wanting to examine if the desire that you're feeling inside of yourself is something that's going to take you down a direction where you're looking for the pot of gold at the rainbow's end and it's just continually eluding you. Well, that's not always a bad thing, is it? Because you may chase that pot of gold and it may continually elude you and you have to go further. Somewhere along that, you learn about yourself and you learn that that gold was in here all the time. But you can kind of learn that before you start down that road if you really want to. And Saturn and Jaishta Nakshatra is helping to provide you with the perspective uh, that you need in order to take a clear look at things. In addition, the moon is forming an angle with Mercury, which is in Purva Ashada Nakshatra. And that is part of what is responsible for helping you to peel away at all those layers that are keeping you from seeing more clearly where 
where you're truly at in relation to a particular set of circumstances. Um, underneath all of this is a confusing placement for Mars in Shatabhishek Nakshatra. Um, now, even with that, there's a reason that this is happening. The journey is much more meaningful if you take the journey right? Even if you have to go through a confusing process in order to, um, in order to come to a clearer understanding of what it is that you're actually looking at. Um, now, on one level, you may go, well, hey, that's kind of contradictory. You were just saying a second ago, you know, let's, maybe you need to sort things out before you start down the road. And now you're saying it doesn't really matter. Well, really, on a certain level, I'm saying both. Because actually, if you start at the beginning of the journey, sorting through the process, you're still going to go on a journey, right? That journey is going to be up here. Uh, and sometimes it's better if that journey is up here mixed with right here so that you're balancing out the head and the heart. And so you're getting a really what is a clearer picture of the situation, which is more of what I'm talking about, than it is letting your head go headstrong into something and, you know, bonking your head and learning that way. Right? So you can take that journey inside of yourself without ever bonking your head. And I don't recommend bonking your head. I do that quite often. You can see, you see that stitches right up there. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But really, whatever the case is, you feel what you feel and you're dissatisfied. You're ready for change. And that change is on the way. But before you can initiate that change, this full moon energy is suggesting that you need to take a good, clear, honest look. Something seems confusing. And before you start down the road, you need to sort through that confusion. The um, astrological indicators are all there to assist you in that process of taking a clearer look. And as the moon is inching closer over the course of the next couple of weeks to a conjunction with K2, it's a good idea to, to really be clear before you start down that road. K2 Mars conjunctions are noted uh, for kind of, for lack of a better way to put it, breaking things, right? Or making things fall apart or um, making Mars's energy a little bit erratic, so to speak. So it's good that you're kind of sorting through this now rather than uh, sorting through it a couple of weeks down the road when you might end up bonking your head instead. So um, be clear. Uh, if you're not clear, try to get clear, right? But most of all, let this guide you. Don't deny that desire. Don't deny that feeling that's surfacing inside of you. But equally, look at it. Understand it. Where does it originate from? What's at the source of it? Uh, is the information that's at the source of it uh, valid? Is it clear? Is it pure? Are you seeing clearly? If you're not seeing clearly, take a closer look. And that's what this full moon energy in Rigashira Nakshatra is really trying to guide you to do. If you'd like a clearer understanding of where this might be impacting your particular chart, I do offer a vast range of astrological services. Those are available through the links that you should see at the bottom of this video. That's going to do it for your full moon video for the full moon in Rigashira Nakshatra for the 14th of December 2016. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself and happy holidays. Bye now.